Hey guys, it's MacG. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, in today's video, we'll be finally doing the botnet series. I decided to unlist the other two videos due to intoxication. Um, and uh, be starting this one all brand new. I do apologize that I haven't uploaded in quite a while. It's holiday season, I've been busy, and yeah. Uh, so let's get into this. I've gone and created a blank form. I've called it a uh, botnet server. And I'm gonna just go ahead and create a nice little layout. So once my crap loads, I'm gonna call it a server. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna grab a group box. This just for preference, doesn't, doesn't matter. Rich text box. Just gonna dump that into there. button it's gonna be a start and stop and we need some labels I'm gonna put one here one here and copy those and put it here now this will be our admins and this will be zero. We have zero admins. Gonna move this over a little. And I'm gonna do the same with the slaves. Okay. So that's that. Need a text box. Gonna check that in. And the text box, you want to type in a particular password, and this will just be the access password. So, I'm going to type in password one, and this will be the password that the admins use. Uh, so, let's get into this. Yeah, we're just going to set that up for multi threading. Uh, now, let's go and do the button. I'm going to grab a hold of that. Yeah. Uh, we'll just add this soon. Let's go and add all the variables. Actually, the dim server as TCP listener. And I'll import everything once I'm finished. The status as boolean oh, equals false. Dim server trying as boolean equals false dim total clients as new list of tcp clients dim slave as new list of tcp client dim master as new list of TCP clients. Uh, dim blocked APs as new list of strings. And dim echo list as new list of strings. That's certainly not a string. Dim Tango IP as new list of string. Dim Tango hitting as boolean equals false. Okay, so let's go ahead and import these. Okay, so we're going to come down here and we're going to do threading dot thread pool dot query solve just solve and we're going to do start server and we're going to come down here and I'll 
also do stop circle. So we're going to do stop circle there. Where we go? Yeah. Function start server. If server trying equals false and server trying equals true. And we're going to do a try. If server status equal to false, then we want to do server equals new TCP listener. And we're going to do IP address any and we're going to put the server port as whatever port you want so for the tutorial I'm going to do 6406 and I'm going to go ahead and import this then I'm going to do server.start server status equals true button one dot text equals stop and rich text box one dot text plus equals one two three doesn't really matter server started and plus the new line so that should almost be it thread pool can't forget the address of and pre client handler then in the catch we want to go textbox one dot text plus equals failed to start server plus ex dot message plus the new line so let's come down here and we're gonna do a stop server dim bypass as boolean equals false function stop server if server trying equals false or bypass equals true then wait did I ever stop no I didn't almost forgot that one gonna come down here and there equal that to false then right in the middle of that we are going to do the stop so try for each x client as TCP client in total client. We want to put another try and catch. And we're going to do x client dot client dot close. x client dot close. So it closes the remote host and then the local host. That makes sense. Um, then we want to come down here and server dot stop set the status equals false and any errors we'll do bypass goes true and stop server and before we do that we want to add another try and catch and just put that in there just in case Okay, so down here we can reach text box one this. So it stopped. Plus VB new line. Okay. I think that's all good. No, I think I've. Have I, I need to copy this. Sorry, almost forgot. 
Right now it's 5 a.m. and I haven't been to sleep. Return true. And I think that's stop. Okay, let's work on the pre client handler, shall we? Function pre oh, client handler by val state as object turn true. And let me double check some things because this will take a while. ID string dim temp client as TCP client dim failed temps. Wait, is that even really necessary? No, I don't think that even is necessary to be honest. I'm messing around with it to be honest. String equals nothing, so there's the IP address. Uh, I think that's it. Using client as TCP client equals server dot accept TCP client. Then if server train equals false, then we're just going to loop back around. So if the server isn't trying to stop, it'll loop back around. But if it is, then it'll just won't go back to here. Address of pre client handler. And now try dim IPv4, which is just basically that, but split IPv4 as string equals client dot client dot remote endpoint to string dot split. And we're going to split that. Okay. If blocked IPs dot contains IPv4, and I'm going to do zero. Then dim tx1 as new stream writer. I'm going to need to go and import this too. Let's go down here and press import. TX1 dot right line and TX dot flush. So this will be if um, if somebody's somebody's trying to well hack into the .NET server. And we're gonna wanna so it's gonna block their IP. And we're gonna wanna type them a nice little message, so Connection lost, loss, and then we're just going to client dot close. Return true and exit function. So it's not going to do any more. That uh, try going to come down past the if. I would it be inside? No, be outside the if. If not total clients dot contains client, then total clients dot add client. And now go ahead and add that to the main client. Okay. Uh, temp client equals client temp IP. Equals client dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string dim rx as new stream reader client dot get stream dim tx as new stream writer client dot get stream okay so we're gonna do tx dot right line Ex dot flush. Now, um, for this, this is just going to be what prompts people. So, um, well, I don't know if it's an admin or just a slave, a bot. So we're going to just type in what is your ID. 
And I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Well, let me just make it read line, because we're going to be using the command line for this. Can use telnet. So once it flushes that, id equals uh, rx.read. Read line. Almost forgot there. <clears throat> I do apologize if I sound a bit sick. I am sick. So if textbox, oh, if id equals textbox one dot text, and this will be where it checks if it's an admin. So if it's equal to that, then we're going to want to drop it into the master slot. Master dot contains client, then master dot add client, and then we're going to want to master dot add. I'm just checking parts of the code in the text file, make sure I didn't fuck anything up, and I think I did. <laughs> Try for each client one as TCP client in master um, if echo list dot contains client one dot client dot remote endpoint dot to stream then send to client and I'll we'll make this soon. So client one dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string comma and I'm just gonna give the count of the masters. So we're gonna do master dot count. That's gonna work. string and then we're just going to say master connected and then we're going to want to put the IP address I mean this is if you want to to be honest so this is going to be the IP address of the master I should probably go there. I'll go over it later. Uh, we'll finish up with the rest of this and um, we'll get back to the send client, send to client. Master handler, and we're just gonna pass the IP address. Like that. Okay, now we're going to else if id equals now this is where you want um, something specific that only uh, your slaves will know uh, but for this video tutorial I'm just gonna type in slave so this will be how it knows that it is uh, either a slave or an admin or someone else so this is like a little password for just the slaves <laughs> uh, we're just going to do the same thing, so if not slaves dot contains client then, oh that's not then then the slave dot add client then try for each client one as TCP client. Let's see where we're going in this. Uh, if echo list that contains client dot client one the client dot remote endpoint dot to string then I'm gonna echo this out. So we're just going to type send to client and client one dot client dot endpoint to string, you know the drill. And I'm just going to type much of the same. So it's going to 
B plus slave dot count to string. It's always an important one to do. I always forget to do the string at some point. Slave connected. If you have um, an unholy amount of slaves connected, you may not want to add this if you're going to be uh, echoing things out. Plus client.client.remoteEndpoint.toString So that grabs the slave client IP address and that's uh, all the master IP addresses. Then we're going to come down underneath the try and slave underscore handler client dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string okay now for the else so else uh, if failed attempts ah oh shit we didn't need that attempts is greater or equal to two then dim ipv4 and string uh, equals client dot client remote endpoint dot to string I can't type Let's split I'm gonna split the point what happened here what the fuck IPv4 uh, let's see blocked IPs to add IPv4 zero okay so I'm gonna go up here and add failed attempts because I must be dim failed attempts oh I need that in here. Dim fed attempts. Hold on. Just thinking. Uh, what we could do actually is uh, could ask it again. So have it request for the ID again and I don't know if it'll be worth it or not yeah I guess so just gonna check this in here so in the else and we're just gonna basically copy and paste that entire thing again and remember, this will be all in the description below if this gets too confusing. Uh, there should be another S. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I need to make another real end if. else if it fails a second time then it's going to just block the IP address okay so after end using we're going to do if total clients dot contains temp client then total client dot remove temp clients and it's basically just going to be the same so if slave dot contains temp client then slave dot remove temp client temp client okay if master dot contains Temp client 
and just uh, don't remove temp client. And we're just gonna copy and paste this code down here too. Okay. Uh, is that? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, hmm. I guess we could add a disconnect, but I don't really. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. What else do we need to add? Okay. Try. Oh, almost. Try, catch, and just gonna close that client, that session. Temp client dot close. Okay. Let's move on to some handlers. Key. Okay. Here we go. So we can have a function master handler by val IP as string return true. Uh, dim client as TCP client try for each client X as TCP client in master if client X dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string equals the IP address of that incoming one then we're going to do client equals client x and yeah uh, no okay so just going to go ahead and exit the for loop damn is there anything else I need to add? Hmm. maybe we could try it again just in case. Master handler IP. Okay. Try dim rx as new stream reader. Client dot get stream. Dim tx as new stream writer. Client dot get stream. TX dot right line welcome admin and that'll just be a nice little thing TX dot flush okay so while client dot client dot connected that's true if client dot get stream dot can read goes true then dim raw data and string goes rx dot read line then data equals raw data dot replace and just gonna replace all the so we're going to do bracket, uh, open open bracket, um, caps lock the word pipe, and then close bracket. Then we're going to replace that with an actual... No, wait, we're going to do the opposite, sorry. My brain died there. Yeah, that should protect some of it. Then we're just going to drop down to the kernel. Botnet kernel and then we're just gonna pipe in the raw data so IP and that'll grab the master IP pipe and plus raw data okay uh, let's see I don't think we need to do anything else that seems all good let's do the slave handler okay so let's go ahead and do a slave handler by val ip as string 
And we're just going to be doing the same things, but instead of the master, we're going to be grabbing it from the uh, slave. So do client as TCP client try for each client x as TCP client in a slave if client x dot client dot limit endpoint to string equals the IP address. So if the IP address equals the IP address, then we're gonna set the client as that client. Then we're just gonna exit the four. And we should do the same. So we're gonna slave handler IP. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of those, because we don't need those. So I need that try, gonna create another one. Dim Rx as new stream writer, reader, sorry. Client dot get stream. Dim TX as new stream writer. Client dot get stream while client dot client dot connected equals true and if client dot get stream dot can read equals true then dim raw data string equals rx dot read line okay dim l as integer equals raw data dot length try if if l is greater than zero then if raw data contains a pipe then we're going to uh, dim args oh, and string a string equals raw data dot split and we're just going to split the pipe <sighs> if raw data oh if args sorry if args one and we're just going to have args1 dot to upper equals oh, get data then send to client ip and can I do get stat now that can be anything you want but just make sure you remember it and then we're going to do plus tango hitting oh it's hidden instead of hidden dot to string dot to upper and we're just gonna close that no another another pipe uh, let's see threading dot thread dot sleep eighty then oh, dim o tango equals uh, a string oops string equals nothing for each tango as string in tango IP then o tango uh, equals would it be equals or plus equals? I feel like it would be plus equals. Plus equals tango. I don't know. Uh, so plus equals tango plus comma. Tango 
equals otengo dot trim end and I'm just going to trim off that extra comma that's at the end uh, so as it layers more and more of the tango IPs on top of itself it's going to split them by comma um, but we don't need the comma at the end so we're just going to go ahead and remove that so send to client uh, IP and then uh, pipe get tango pipe plus uh, oh tango sorry plus the pipe so we've got some pipes there and I think that's almost it else if args one but to upper uh, equals echo and we're just going to be able to allow them to echo demo as string equals args two dot replace and we're just going to replace all the pipes with pipes pipe with pipe because it doesn't matter at this point so I'm just going to go ahead and echo should echo O um, echo no I haven't created a function so it's freaking out echo IP comma O like that and I think that does it for the slaves, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the echo function. So we're going to go ahead and call this echo, of course. Uh, by val, from as string, by val, message as string. And we're just going to chuck this into a try and catch. Uh, so for each client as TCP client in master if echo this dot contains client dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string then send to client client dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string from plus one two three plus the message okay and that's that set up return true let's go ahead and finally create the send to client okay function send to client by val ip as string and by val message oh, message as string I'm gonna go ahead and return true dim e count as integer equals zero I'm gonna put a nice try and catch you over here for each client as TCP client in total clients so that's going to grab the entire list of clients, so it's not trying to look in both. It'll just look all together. Dim IPv4 oh, as string equals client dot client dot remote endpoint. You know the drill. Oh, dot to string. If IPv4 equals IP, IP, then dim tx as new stream writer client dot get stream and I'm just going to go ahead and write the message so tx dot write line message and tx dot flush and that will solve up a lot of issues okay uh, what else? 
try move the catch exception if e count is greater than less than five I should say it's less or equal to five then send to client IP comma message which now that I think about it, it's probably pointless considering it's at the to zero so uh, we're just going to we're just going to not leave anything here okay and that should do it for that so let's go ahead and ooh, it's something okay we'll do the slave handler I thought I already did that. Did I not do that? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and create the sleep handler. Okay. I see what I did there. I missed an L. So I thought I thought we already did the sleep handler. Um. Okay. So I guess what's next is to create the kernel, which is gonna be the main part of this video, and uh. It's going to take a while, so let's get right into this.
6'4, we kind of the same in ways. We both speak with our hands in dangerous ways. Me and 6'4, we kind of the same in ways. We both speak with our hands in dangerous ways. Becoming a threat. So elite. You know rappers like to rock pools. I got fools who can't swim in, but I'm collecting a spice like a friend. So you fools can step in and get to choosing your weapon. Because the definite roar of indefinite war is epic. I found a new way to debit the people. I generate an address and I generate a sequel. I get medieval when I'm taking payment. Because I don't want the end to say all stuck up in my anus. Yeah, and I'm a Bitcoin fair and I'm staring the status quo. Got that crypto going at that foul to blow. And the algorithm gon' get him a deal.
drugs But you do it on the streets and you did it in Google Buzz or Google Plus There's a road made of silk if you must Get your hustle out of chemical rush Avoiding the brush with the law Can't stop them all cause they got it anonymous The ones that play a stupid they get thrown in the bottom of pit Don't even know how to cut up them layers of the onions So let the players play pumpkin Hash function, pumping and dumping Manipulate the market, flood it from the darkness There's a DDoS starting at Mt. Gox. Lag is increasing and there are cold coins in new blocks. Finally, I can see it crystal clear. Correction is coming, there's a panic in the air. Price is falling, fear is building up. Don't underestimate what latency can do. Bitcoin is down and Clark Moody is too. Firewalls are fading and we're going to go through. The price keeps falling, I see my fortune. I just keep thinking that I almost had it all. It's all evaporating, it leaves me broken. I can't help feeling I could have had it all. But price is going down It's all because of DDoS And I'm feeling kind of good Maybe someday I buy myself more coins Burnt myself today when market order hit daily lows Think of me in the depths of your despair Making a home down there where Belcher won't be spared. I placed my order, it just won't cancel. The tide is turning and now Mount Cox is down. It's all evaporating, it leaves me broken. I can't help feeling I could have had it all. But now the price is down. It's all because of DDoS And I'm feeling kind of ghost I could have had it all Been lying on some beach The new wealthy elite Now I blame it on my ghost Marquee Price will go up again, you'll have what you're looking for. I'll turn your sorrow into treasured gold. But first, you got to stick around for another round of holes. I could have 
I be numb to the world, numb to losing my girl Kalana pins and needles in my side Can't dry up all these tears I cried Frozen in time, my memories of suicide All those times that I wish I died Flood my head till it aches so broken These pills ain't working, the ibuprofen Words are spoken, no impact Hard pill to swallow, she's a hard act to follow Consider my options, six feet above or under If these pills ain't working, then I'm choosing slumber Slipped on banana pills